Welcome everyone back to another episode of Lip Lotta. America Lip Lotta, where, as you guys know, we are slowly but surely crushing these little no good tootin' Spanish soldiers who got sent over here and are gonna die. <laughs> quite plain, quite frankly put, they're gonna die. It's just gonna take us a little bit to get to that point. Okay, yeah. I think what I've basically decided is now since I built up my industry, I'm gonna become a populist leader. Because I really don't want revolts. I really don't want to deal with all that crazy nonsense. I just want peace in my land. Very much want peace. So, yeah. I've kind of decided that off screen. So, we're going to see what happens with the elections. But I'm basically going with the flow and seeing what everyone else wants. And as long as it doesn't influence me too much, we'll do it. Okay. Seems like the Germans are winning the Franco-Prussian War. Not surprising because Germany is almost nearly united, so I'm assuming once they get that, they have everything else. Yep, yeah, we should see a powerful Germany here very, very soon. Uh, yeah, very, very soon. I can't wait to see this. And the electorals have finished, and we have the automotive guys back in power. But I built up my factories before any of that happened, so you know what? It's still a win for me because I still built up all my factories. Uh, okay. Conservatives declare victory. Alright. Uh, did you crush America? You're not going up there to go crush that army. Why? Uh. America, you don't need to siege down this land. Trust me. I have two armies down here unseaging my land again. We basically know this land by heart. We can, we can definitely keep it back underneath our control. By the way, I am going to get in so much debt at the end of this. Wow, I mostly owe the Russians, too. Ah, that's going to be a nice day when my economy collapses again. Because America wanted to add a stupid damn war score. Why'd you do this to us, America? Why did you do this? Just finish the war. We don't have the resources to fight this. Well, we do. But you don't want to use the resources to fight this. Hey. Okay, steam turbine. Got that made. And let's start, let's start clipping down some of this tech tree because I want to make sure I can create the Panama Canal anytime soon. So that my ships can have a little bit easier access and because I get a little money off of that. Let's see, you guys go siege up that. Yeah, as you guys can see, I'm unseaging all their hard work. Defenders Occupation, I should be able to counter that very soon. Defenders Occupation is the only thing that's giving them positives. Should be able to counter, oh, and also the battles. I should be able to counter that soon. While America's army slowly comes down here and annoys the never-ending end of me. Yep, and now we get a full frontal... Oh my goodness. Hey, Chili, I'm calling you in. I can't call you in because I'm not the world leader. Well, if I could call you in, I'd so call you in right about now. Ah, <sighs> okay. Uh, is this... Is this really the only... Mm. If I had an army right over here, I could just basically lock them up and they couldn't do anything about it. Let's go do that. So I want to make sure these guys die. So let's go see. Let's go see if we can go get to that place before they can. Lock all these, these two armies up. Maybe even kill that army right there because I feel very warlike right now. And then we'll continue on with our experiment of being at war against an enemy. I don't really want to be at war with. Having rebels really build up in my country because I'm having a terrible economic state right now. The rebels won't, the Netherlands won't win, but neither will I because our leaders are idiots. Hmm. Let's go right here. Only have three provinces left and then they have absolutely no positive war score against us, which will then demoralize them and then probably get us into a white peace, which is what I'm hoping for so that we don't have to continue this anymore. I really want to get out of this war. I really don't care about this war. It was I just want to protect my colonial interests. I did that, and now these guys need to give up. Because I really don't want to deal with this anymore. You guys go right here. Let's see. Come on, get to La Paz before they do. Get to, hopefully they go to Equipa before going to La Paz. Because otherwise I'm gonna have to send two armies to La Paz, because that's gonna be mountain terrain, and I think it has a fort level. And that's gonna be very deadly. Okay, it seems like they're going to Equipa. Uh, did, I think I finally pronounced that name right. Equipa. Equipa. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Equipa. Yes, and let's just keep taking down our technology tree. Unseeds the last little bit. And now they basically have Defender's Occupation. 
have it very well. We basically conquered all of Africa, Dutch Africa. Uh, the Colombians are actually trying to strike back against the Spanish overlords. I don't know if they're actually going to win anytime soon. America is also down here. You know, America's army could actually be very effective. No, they're not going over here, are they? They're going to go over there to go siege up that land, aren't they? We could also get women's suffrage and some other stuff. So, let's see. What can make our people less angry at us right now? Uh, Trickolate Healthcare. You guys want Trickolate Healthcare? I have to give it to them because I really don't want... I don't want you guys angry at me, especially when we're at war. I gave you... What? I gave you guys Trickolate Healthcare! What? What? That's BS! I totally gave you guys Trickle A healthcare. I was like, okay, we're gonna give you guys Trickle A healthcare. Oh, I see, I have to support it. Yeah, more debt, just more debt. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Uh, okay, so there's apparently a 44 death stack right there on my land, annoying the, annoying the heck out of me. So let's move, let's start moving these armies just a little bit more back. I know that 3KZ is gonna die or it's going to, yeah, it's gonna die. <laughs> Okay, let's see. What do you guys want? White peace. If you guys end the bloody war with my with the original people, if you get if you get my warry states out of this, I will end the war with you. Trust me, I don't want to fight you either. In fact, I don't. Are you guys literally sending in? Dude, that is not a smart idea. I have mountain terrain farmland. Wait, wait, they're sending an army up into farmland, plus I have a little fort right here. This is not going to end very well for you. You know that, right? Just, but, you know what? Stupidity breeds people, so I'll just watch this and just see what happens. There we go. Go send my army over here. You better not die. You better not, for the Pete's sake of all things a Benji, die. There we go. Everyone, go chase them down. Go chase that army down. It was an idiot army, so we're just we're gonna go do the nice service and kill it before it has any time to uh, think about its actions. And I believe I'm going to get there before their army is. Yes, I am. And great wars have now been discovered, and now they are attacking me. And now I'm going to be sending my 30k to go destroy them. And now we have basically unseized all my land. And now are they sending in any other armies over here? No. Yeah, Belgium, you guys might... I really want to end this war really badly, too. I really want to get out of it, but I don't want you to ever annex my little state, because as soon as... I know what's going to happen. As soon as I get out of this war, you guys are going to send an army down the Wari, and you guys are basically going to crush them. I can't let that happen, so we're going to kill you. I'm also going to go send my second army in to go to, just to blow up you. No. I remember what happens when I, uh, when I uh, spend money I don't have at this point. Okay, let's see. You guys go right there. Okay, let's make let's make some quick uh, work of surrounding nation. So build by two units. Okay, uh, divide those units up. Put that unit right there. Send that unit over there. Get the bigger unit. Send everyone over here. There we go. That way they are completely surrounded. They can't do absolute. Oh no no! Don't you dare move! Don't you dare move. If you guys move, I'm going to go kill you. And I mean that in the literal sense, I'm going to go kill you. Okay, well, I just have to hold them there. Just hold them there, army. And boom. Ha uh ha. -huh. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Did you really give him military access? Jinderwism, very popular among the people. Good minimum wage, also very popular. Let's see, how many rebels are angry at me? Not very many, so I can kind of deal with a lot of stuff. Uh, let's go and seize this land. I believe actually it's this army it's made, but this army's composition. Go down here, unseize this land, and can we please? <sighs> if you guys would just not be in this, I could totally end this war right now. I'm already 2 million into debt. Am I at 2 million? Yep, I'm at 2 million into debt right now. This is really not my best day ever. Let's just get I. Steel turbines, I think, are going to be invented here in a couple years. You need steel, by the way, the reason why I'm mentioning steel turbines, because that's the one we're going to need to do stuff. Enact women's suffrage, yes. Make everyone less angry at me, please. <laughs> if, ever, if the women make everyone me less angry at me, very good thing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, and we have all these little nations that we can make in Africa, and... 
yeah, we're just kind of chilling now because it's still, this war feels like it's never going to end. And I almost think I have the full amount of non annex Wally I can get out of this. And let's see. We're crushing all of our competition. The, the Netherland army has basically retreated. It's also being crushed by America. America's finally down here, which is nice to see. They, they finally stopped pitter-pattering around and, and started doing stuff, but... I don't know what they're gonna do now that we basically destroyed everything that we need to destroy. But America, somewhat good friend with wars. Yeah. I really don't know what to say, people, except Germany has formed! The mighty Germans have finally formed an empire! Okay, so the Sakanto just got out of this war. That's good. So we're, we're slowly... Okay, I have to go siege up that one province right there. Why? Because I gotta make sure they don't have any kind of sea... Uh, advantages over here. If I delete the sea advantages or any of the ports right over here, they're gonna get major attrition, which could actually kill their ships before they actually arrive over here, which is what we need to do. And let's see, they're still losing by a lot because I think all the attack points that they did have is now going away. You know, this is eventually gonna turn into a point where we win because we basically have America. <laughs> that wasn't what I meant, but yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> We're eventually going to win because we have America on our side. Uh, and because we basically will not let Netherlands not even get even close to this region. We guard this region. You guys ain't cl getting close to this region. We own it. So just accept it. Just accept it. Oh, man. White Peace. As soon as you offer that to America and they accept, I will be happy. Because then the war officially ends and I don't have to worry about Wally being in trouble for my gigantic... I want to end the war. Hey, hey. Belgium, I want to end the war with you guys. But you have to offer it to the right people, okay? I don't want you to come in and conquer my little nation of Warwick. Never. Okay? <laughs> this this war score is really going to turn into the... It's going to turn out against them. I don't know where this army is moving, but I'm just watching and laughing at it. Okay, and we have two new states, by the way. I probably should be working on those, but... I really can't do anything until after my economy collapses again. Because of this stupid I really want to end it. I really... I, you guys don't even know. I really am thinking about, you know, just ending the war. But I do realize we need to keep our colonial provinces. I mean, this is this is what it means to be a great power. Is we gotta, we gotta assert ourselves in our colonial assets. So, yeah. Curse colonialism. <laughs> That's all I gotta say right now. Curse colonialism. I'd be out of this war so quick if it wasn't because of colonialism. But, I also got good rubber supply. Good minimum wage. Let's just get that now just so I know how much I'm paying for all this. There we go. Good minimum wage. Everyone should be less angry at me because I am not an evil dictator. There we go. Thank you for everyone to stop dispersing and stop being so angry at me. Uh, seems like we finally had another army arrive over here. It looks like a pathetic little s uh, Spanish army. Uh, probably gonna have to, like, divide up, uh, you know, no, this is, we'll do this the other quick way. So, what I'll do, get my little one troop out, send my army in, go send my army in. There we go. So that army will engage, probably keep them, we need to retreat it, we can't retreat it. Probably gonna die. Yep, it died. <laughs> oh, gosh. That made me kind of feel sad there for a second. Still should kill, what? What? How'd you guys lose? Okay, that was one of the most BS reasons I've ever lost a battle in my life. Now we're going to begin Attack 2. And Attack 2, way more successful than Attack 1. Probably going to lose all their troops in this battle. And we are completely ready for Steel Turbines when the time comes. We're also going to get, uh, actually this. Uh, Phenomeny and Hegemony. I can't pronounce these words today. And there we go! They finally gave up! Thank goodness! Okay, so send my army over here. Send another army. Group up all this army. Send it down here to go protect my capital from any, like, stray cats. No one support anything for, like, ever. We are literally in lockdown. Nothing I am going to build for, like, a couple of years. We are in serious debt. And I'm gonna have to, like, deal with this. Oh my goodness. Man. Okay. And let's see. Making sure we keep track of our rebel problem because 
Oh my goodness. Three million in debt, everyone, and it's mostly to Russia and England. I hate you both for somehow getting me in this much debt, you two nations of bankitude. Bankitude? Is that really? I don't think that's a word, James. You know what? I don't care. It's a word to me. Okay, so first things to do is to open up all of our old factories. That way they all kind of feel my love. Okay, so now that they're all opened up and happy and dandy, whatever you want to call it, uh, make some new forts right about here on the border. I just make. Do I have enough money? Ah, uh, shoot. Did my kid. Did my. Oh, uh, you guys didn't actually expand any of the factories over here. Okay, we'll make. Make more railroads all the way around. Okay. Then once the railroads are all built. Oh, that's Brazil. I don't really care about Brazil's railroads. Then we can start dealing with more stuff. But I'm actually going to stop spending money because if I keep spending money, I already know what's going to happen. I'm going to become bankrupt. But, everyone, I just want to take a moment and. And just acknowledge the fact that we just beat a European power and we are Argentina. We just beat a European power and we're Argentina. And apparently the Philippines have been born. Where was I when that happened? <laughs> okay, so. We have a pretty good look into South Africa. I mean, not South Africa. Actually, it's more of Eastern Africa, Western Africa. And what we need to be doing right about now is start thinking about stuff like how to get those events to where I can just annex those guys. Oh, I can also end the Menji monarchy too if I really want to mess up France. Uh, yes. Good times, good times. Steel turbines. Wait, I could create this now? Whew, wait a minute. Maybe we should start the Panama Canal and then, yes. Oh, I could, I, I'm going to build it. Yeah, I'm going to totally build the Panama... Shoot. Shoot, 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 Uh. Construction. That's a little bit, you know, I swear that's a little bit unfair. Wait, wait, I did go bankrupt! Damn it, I did go bankrupt. Oh, and I got to... Ugh. You know, I want to say that was just a... Ugh. I would say it's a little bit unfair, but I knew the risk, and... Ugh. Get citizenship test. Oh my goodness, okay, I really, <sighs> that was a dude, that was an idiot move on my part. Even though I just made the money back in a couple seconds, that was an idiot move on my part. We just cost ourselves more prestige than we needed to, but the good thing about that, Ed, the good thing about this is that prestige honestly doesn't matter in the end, because prestige from a good, from a good Victoria 2 player is honestly so easy to come by. It should just be easily called Swiss cheese. Alright, and I gotta see, how far am I behind the Austria? 442, 52, yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna stay up to be a great power, which means my fighting over here in Sarkanto was all for nothing. Uh, this, this is kind of like a sad victory today, where I built the Panama Canal, but it literally cost me everything. So, yeah. Begin to simulate, whatever, just... Get them inside my empire, okay? I don't want to deal with any more of these, like, straggler nations. Okay. Pay back at least 500k of this so I can get less income or less interest. There we go. Apparently, SS Bolaeus, Imperial Japan. What? What did Imperial Japan ever do to me? Sure, why not? Apparently, Imperial Japan made me mad, so I just went to go and get a Kansas Bellai against them. And apparently now I'm supporting all my infantry, and yeah. Huh. What'd you do to me, Imperial Japan? Oh my goodness. Let's start phase one. Oh my goodness, yeah. Forgetfulness is definitely going to be my downfall in this game, but... Good thing is, is that I believe... Uh, we might... Hmm. They're probably going to become a second day power here very, very soon. And I'll be ending this very, very soon. So just give me like 24 seconds. Okay. And yeah, I think I'll end this year very, very, very soon. Oh my goodness. Uh, similar, we should begin integrating. Just get, integrate everyone. Everyone should be a part of my empire. Everyone! Whoa, ah, 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 ah. Oh my goodness. 
Use dynamite! Yes, you totally use dynamite. Oh my goodness. And with that, I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.